How we doing everybody? This is That Art Nerd coming at you with a fire video on how to update uh, packages for Anaconda. So I'll do this one of two ways. The first way is via the command line or terminal. And the second way is if you're using Spider and you wanna update it straight through there. So we, I come through, I, I looked at a bunch of uh, modules that I don't have. And I'll just pick these two because I think they're smaller than, than downloading Torch. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is not use pip. So they have like pip install, whatever. Um, that's going to do it for your whole Python. It's not going to work with Anaconda. So the way to properly do it with Anaconda is to come through, look up conda, and then whatever package that you want. So the first one we have is nat sort. And so we'll click on that first link there. And then it's gonna tell us how to do it. And so we have conda install dash C anaconda nat sort. And that's gonna download that module for us. So the first way again that we'll do it is via terminal. So we'll get terminal up. And we will just copy and paste that line they gave us. So conda install nat sort. So it's gonna run through some of this stuff here, collect metadata, solve the environment. It'll probably ask us a question and then we'll have to proceed with a, a Y. See, gotta proceed. So you just press Y there. And then it downloads all the necessary packages that you need to be able to run um, that, that package or that module there. Easy peasy. Uh, Conda makes it really nice, really easy. So we should be able to import that sort now. <clears throat> and there we go. The second way is if you want to do it directly via spider. Um, so if you're using this GUI here or this IDE, uh, then, then we can we can do it here. Um, the only difference is I'll show you. So let's look up this Unicode data two. So we'll say Conda Unicode data two. And we will just grab this top one. So again, it typically ends up being this, conda install dash C, conda forge, and then whatever package you want. But it's nice to just be able to copy it and make sure that that's what you need. So if you're doing this via spider, what we're gonna have to do is an exclamation point and then paste it. And then do a dash dash Y. And the reason this is, is you saw earlier that it asked us if we wanted to proceed, then we had to type Y. Uh, but it doesn't let you do that if you're in this console here. Um, so we have to preset that we want to say yes when it asks us to proceed. So again, this looks the same. We're collecting meta package metadata. We're solving the environment. We're getting work done. We're doing good. <clears throat> And then somewhere it should show us that it asks us to press yes, but I don't see it. But anyways, it, it does ask us if we wanna proceed and that, that double dash Y ended up doing that for us. All right, so there it is, easy peasy. Import Unicode, what was that second one I did? Unicode data two. And so there it is, uh, you're able to update it either way. Um, if I'm already working in Spider, sometimes it's easier to just do it through there and terminal or command line is not hard either. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing. 
Uh, make sure to like it so other people can find this video as well. And thank you for your time. You just have a, the best day. All right. You, just the best day. We'll see you.